Hex, 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 don't make us wait any longer. Yeah, yeah, show us what you got to see in E3. Relax, guys. Roll tape. Okay, Spawnlings, I'm here at the Electronic Entertainment Expo for 2013. I've got my media pass. Let's go see some games. Special access, I'm allowed to sit in the car, no one else is, so I'm gonna do it really quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, thanks for joining us on the show. Yeah, thank you. Um, where's Darren? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, he couldn't actually make it. Alright, that's fine. Sims are a little trickier for newcomers. How do you endeavour to find balance between making games accessible to people who are interested in, in looking at Sims to catering to the hardcore market? Absolutely. We've always had a philosophy of one-button driving. So for the past few games, uh, we, we have a sys that we apply on top of our physics engine. So we'll do things like we have a driving line that you can follow. We also have a braking assist that if you turn it on, you know what, it's going to know, hey, you're coming into this corner a little fast. We're going to slow down automatically for you. And then we also have a steering assist. So as you're taking turns too wide, it's going to go, uh, 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 let me push you back in a little bit. What's, uh, is there one element of the game in particular that you're most looking forward to players experiencing? Um, honestly, uh, I think uh, when people get to see the P1 um, and our feature called Forza Vista, where we allow you to fully explore every single car in the game, um, you really learn a lot. We've got Lone Ranger, which we just showed you a little bit of today. We've got Monsters University. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Incredibles, and Cars. That's five playsets, and there's more to come. Now, what's important is that each one of these playsets actually offers a different gameplay experience. So in Pirates of the Caribbean, you're actually going to be doing sword combat, and you're also going to be sailing ships. And in Monsters University, it's all about pranking, and there's a ton of fun customization and scaring that you do in there as well. Incredibles, think of it like almost like Crackdown. It's this big awesome open world with superheroes. You can run around and do so many different things. But what's important is that we're offering unique gameplay mechanics into every one of those playsets. So it's not just a cookie cutter new level. It seems your time has run out. Project Spark is a creative application that we've, we've come together to allow people of uh, any age and any technological like know-how um, the ability to create with the hopes that we open up the barriers, take down the walls of creative applications so people can come in and, and tell stories and make games and just maybe make a nice looking level that they just are really proud of and share to their friends and their family. As our director, I really love our style and I love the beauty of our game. And so I really want people to be able to sit down and quickly and easily make something they're proud of. So you can sit down, you can make something, you hit that play button, you're in the game, and you feel really good about what you've made. And the, the next thing you want to do is send it out there. You want to share it. You want to send it out to the community and name it and tell people where to find it because you just feel good about what you've done. And I think that alone is what I want people to experience. Uh, where's Darren? Uh, sorry, he couldn't make it. Really? So in Scribble Not So Mask, we have a feature called the Hero Creator. The Hero Creator is a um, sort of a superhero maker. You can combine different parts from uh, Batman, Superman, all your favorite superheroes, supervillains. Uh, you can give them superpowers, and you can create sort of your own superhero. And then you can trade them, you know, with other people around the world. 
Scribble Knots games have traditionally been about you know puzzles and, and you know coming up with a set of objects. And this time around, we've made the gameplay a lot more action centric. So you know we have combat controls. You know, being a superhero game, it's, it's definitely appropriate to you know run around and sort of defeat supervillains. Do you have a favorite go-to word that you tend to use when you're playing? For this version of Scribble Knots, um, holdable is the holdable adjective is very useful. Um, carrying people uh, back and forth. Um, Certain adjectives like sleeping or flying. For Maxwell, supersonic is, is always helpful to get you quickly across the map. Hi, hi Guha, let's talk about Skylanders. Okay, well, where's Darren? Darren, um, you know what, he actually couldn't make it, but, um, but I'm here. Oh, I was really hoping to meet Darren. Okay, uh, well, why don't you tell us what's new with Skylanders? Sure. Byron Jaw Gulch is somewhere to the west. East. Either way, we're heading in the wrong direction. Probably. You know what? It'll be fun. Skylander Squad Force, we have an all-new adventure pl uh, to play, and we're going to take uh, you to the Cloudbreak Islands. And this is a magical place with a magical volcano. The volcano erupts every hundred years to replenish the magic in the Skylands. And there's a brave group of Skylanders responsible for defending the Cloudbreak Islands as well as the volcano. And in an epic battle, they got blasted apart, caught up in the eruption. And they got these brand new powers and became the swap force. They were able to swap their top and bottom halves, where the top part determines how you fight and the bottom part determines how you move. And all of your characters, all of your Skylanders in the past games will work and are bigger and better than ever. All of your Skylanders, the new ones as well as the old ones, can jump. The giants look big and powerful and are totally awesome. Really, the point of uh, mixing and matching is to find the right combination for your playstyle and also for the tactical situation. My favorite thing about the game is I can make the game fit for me. Uh, I can pick the character that I want and play the way I want as well. And I really like it that I can bring my entire collection forward as well. I feel like he has better hair than me. Oh, hi, Daniel. Thanks so much for being on the show. No, that's fine. Where's Darren? Oh, um, Darren actually couldn't make it, so... Uh, Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh, OK. The whole story is that the humans are being attacked by goblins, and, you know, the humans have no idea where they've got all these sort of weapons from. So, Knack is a robot that's created by our Doctor character, and he joins an expedition with some other human characters. Uh, basically to find out, you know, how the goblins got hold of all these weapons and try and put an end to the conflict. You can bash down buildings or walls, depending on, you know, what size of knack that you are. And in some of those you'll find treasure chests, okay? Now, in the treasure chest you're going to get a random object. Now, that object could be, you collect, there's all these collections, so you can collect parts of gadgets um, that will help you on your quest, but you can also collect things that will let you unlock new versions of knack. Like we have a vampire knack, we have a sunstone knack, and, and some other versions as well. And you can use those for when you play through the game again. Now the thing is, you get a random object. But when you open that chest, if your friends have already opened that chest before, you can get what object they picked up. So the more friends you have playing, the more objects you get to choose from. Siobhan, I thought I'd find you here. So where's Darren? Okay, everyone's asking this. He couldn't come. He's going to stay home and host the show. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, I guess so. All right, well, let's talk about Tearaway. OK, let's do that. Tearaway is, a, is at its heart an adventure game, and it's basically the story of a little messenger, um, and the messenger's name is Iota, if you want to choose the boy messenger, or Atwa, who is our, our lady messenger. And um, the, they just, the game begins with them sort of trying to come out of the game world and deliver a message directly to the player, but it just doesn't work. It, it fails. And so the player, Anatoa or Iota, fall back in the world together, and this sort of whole relationship between you, the player, and Atoa or Iota develops at that point. So you, as the, as the outside force, can do things like um, there are certain areas where you're able to actually stick your fingers using the back touch actually into the game world. It actually feels really intuitive and good. Um, you also can use the back touch to uh, drum. So there's a lot of um, areas where we use sort of a drumming mechanic. We also use the microphones. Um, there's some challenges where you need to record some voice. Uh, and also th your breath sort of breathes in like uh, particles and confetti into the world. 
by the time you've actually set all of that up and you've done it, it just, yeah, it's a really good. Well, Nintendo may not have had a press conference this year, but I think you can see they still have a massive presence at E3 and a really strong lineup of games, so let's check them out. shared item down here, so basically if anybody wants to use one of those items in reserve, then they can use that at any time. So now we've actually got four cat suits in reserve, so if we do lose that item, then any one of us at any time can kind of use that. I guess just having the different control styles for each of the characters makes it a little bit more dynamic rather than just sort of the Super Mario Brothers U or Wii, where all the characters control exactly the same. So yeah, yeah. It's going to be a little bit different. People will be fighting for you know, whoever they like the best, but each one's got their advantages. And, and, you know, this little air run that I do. Uh, <laughs> I love how Toad's cat suit is kind of squat and short. Yeah. You want to touch these tiles to light them up to get bonus points? You can actually touch the game pad too. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh look what's Denny. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. So this is um, Fine. one of the new features called anti-gravity. The mechanics are a little bit different as well. A little bit like the hovercraft mechanics in Indicom Racing back in the day. Damn those yeah. banana peels. Somebody left those in a clever spot. Uh, I'll give you a quick go on the gyro sensor there. So, uh -huh. same buttons, yep. um, but you, you want to turn your turn like a steering wheel. Sure, okay. Gyro, so. I'm driving on the walls! Whoa! <laughs> Waker and HD, it's pretty awesome. is E3 for 2013. I am exhausted. But what a year, man. New consoles, great games. It's just a great time to be a gamer. 